What's up YouTube, it's your boy Change, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Today is our first installment of Change Your Mind. But before we go any further, I want you to hit that subscribe button. There we go. Now we got a great topic we want to talk about today. Let's get it in. So I came across a quote this morning and it really hit me. I don't know if it's because I'm going through stuff in my life. It hit me this morning in such a way that I felt like I had to share it with you guys. It says, but I have raised you up for this very purpose. And I wanted to break down just kind of exactly what that meant to me. First thing I think of is raised up. If you raised me up, that means that I was already in a fallen place. Can't go anywhere else rock bottom. Me personally, I feel like that a lot of times in my life. It could be emotionally going through stuff. It could be abuse, verbal abuse, trauma. You could have seen something, been part of something that really hit you in a way. It could be your personal image, the way you see yourself. And maybe you don't think you're beautiful. Maybe you don't think you're attractive. Maybe you think you're too skinny. Maybe you think you're too fat. You don't think you're handsome. It could be financial. Maybe you have bad credit or maybe you just have a lot of bills and bills are just piling and piling and piling and piling and piling up and you have no idea where this money is going to come from and how you're going to get on top of all these bills. Money is something that the world needs to go around and unfortunately maybe you're not at the place where you feel like you have a lot of options based on the money that you see in your control at this moment. Or maybe it's your career and sometimes you're just unemployed, sometimes we get fired, sometimes we get laid off, sometimes we're in a low level position or a medium level position and we feel Feel that we're worth more we're due for an upgrade we're due for a breakthrough and it hasn't happened yet we're just tired and fatigued and just pissed off and we don't know exactly what we got to do you know what it also could be it could be physical maybe you're too injured maybe you're sick maybe you know somebody who's sick this could be you too you could be in that sunken place right now sink into the floor nah joking <laughs> no spoons in this drink if you guys see a spoon Get out! <laughs> or maybe you're exhausted in your relationship, whether it be a short relationship, long relationship, you failed, they failed, as a couple you failed, you don't know exactly how to be happy, you don't know how to make them happy, it could be one of those things, and that's probably why you feel like you're at the lowest point right now. The truth is that when we're at those lowest points, a lot of times we see it as that's where we're the most vulnerable. But the crazy part to it, and this is something that I'm learning for myself, those are also the moments that we can be the strongest. And the reason why I say that is because you don't grow with the easy life. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. Life is meant to be hard. Life is meant to be difficult. Life is meant to be confusing. And it's during those moments that we're at the depth of our problems and we're just tired, we're hurt, we're exhausted, we're beat, we're not happy. At those moments, those are the moments that can make or break us. And that's when we see the biggest turnaround. And those are also the moments that we remember growing up. And we can also look back and be like, I used to be there and now I'm here. It's just like working out and you're at that place where your muscles are shaking. They hurt so much. They're quivering. Everything's trembling. You don't think you can finish the whole thing. You're grunting because you're trying to get out that last push. When you're at that moment, that is when you're building muscle. That's when you're actually getting stronger. And in life, it's just like that. A lot of times we have to go through the horrible moments. We gotta get hurt, we gotta yell, we gotta scream, we gotta punch some walls, we gotta punch some pillows, just because that's what life is surrounding us with. But the truth is, we're meant for so much more. We have a purpose, right? The quote that I read today, but I have raised you up for this very purpose. A lot of people are like, what's my purpose? You being the best you that you can be is your purpose. You have a daughter, you have a son, you have a nephew, you have a little brother, little sister, you got a niece. If you have somebody who looks up to you, every step you make is being watched and your purpose is to be the best example for them. Sometimes it's people, coworkers, schoolmates, friends, people who are going through the exact same thing that you're going through publicly, they're going through privately and watching you to see how you handle your situation and you coming out of that situation stronger and better than you did the day before, that's your purpose. I personally do believe that there is a God out here, an intelligent designer, somebody who created us for more than just getting up, go to work, go home, go to sleep. There's so much more to life than that. And I definitely believe that in those moments where we feel like we're the weakest, he wants us to call on him so that he can show that he's the strongest. He can take our pain, he can take our confusion and show us purpose, show us growth, show us progression. And he wants us to prosper. And I want you to prosper. I want to prosper myself. So when I heard that quote today, I knew I had to share it with you guys. Sometimes I don't want to hear positivity. I don't want to hear that it's going to be okay because I don't feel like it's going to be okay. And while I'm thinking all of that negativity, the world throws that negativity back at you. It tells you you're worthless. It calls you a horrible person, a waste of space, a lazy, stupid, failure, weak, a waste of my 
pathetic, replaceable, not worth the time, not worth the effort. You're not special. You're not smart. You're not sweet. Yo, you're soft, bro. You're a broke boy. Get up. Ugly. Yo, you're kind of pretty still for a dark skin. You're fat. Like you're skinny, you're too short, you're too tall, you're a baby daddy, eh? You're not a good look, fam. Whether it's in your thoughts or whether it's from an outside source, you need to take that and use it as motivation to build you up because you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are royalty, you are kings and you are queens and God has such a plan for each and every one of you and he wants you to walk that plan that he's laid out for your life. So don't let any of that negativity hold you down because at this moment, he's called you out for a purpose and we want to make sure that you reach that purpose and you live out that purpose. So don't forget, you have been raised up for this purpose. Somebody needed to hear this today and I hope it encourages you. It encouraged me. I want to let you guys know if you want to know where I got that quote. That quote was actually from Exodus 9, 16. Whatever you're doing today, do it with excellence, do it with pride, do it with a smile, do it with positivity. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you get this on Facebook, don't forget to share it. If it spoke to you, hopefully it'll speak to somebody else. And don't forget, every day make a change. No matter what, don't stop growing. If they don't like that, it's cool. Just let them know we'll pray for them. It's your boy Change. You already know how we give it up.